promises us that there is a way to solve the problems of the future, whatever they may be. The problems that emergent technology gives us, the fact that we're burning our planet out at an alarming rate, species going extinct all the time, the problem of all the violence that's come, the instability that's come. Totalitarian theological regimes have somehow resumed ruling nations. These problems, they're very real. And in the past, how we've always solved it is, go find an empire to go clean it up. Let them rule the world for a century or two. If you're in the in crowd, it's a good life. And for everybody else, so sorry, maybe you'll have the turn next. I don't want to live in that world anymore, and I don't think you do either. I'd like to live in a world where everyone is treated fairly. Everyone is treated with honesty and respect and dignity and transparency. These are basic things. We put them in constitutions. We put them in laws. We promise each other we'll treat each other this way. But you know what happens? Humans happen. And while the individual may be virtuous, the collective, somehow, some way, if left unrestrained and unrestricted, they sometimes have problems. The magic of this industry is that we can create almost an artificial law of physics for society. We can take the rights that we believe that we have earned and should have, that we should be born with, and we can put it into a blockchain. And then suddenly people can't cheat. The most powerful way of demonstrating that is what Bitcoin accomplished. You see, all these monetary systems, they say, oh, well, no, they have rules and predictability and we won't intervene until we do. Then suddenly this thing comes out that promises 21 million, that's it. Can't change it, can't reverse it. These are the rules regardless of the circumstances. Then you see Silk Road happen, Mount Gox happen. You see dozens of massive issues happen. You see nation states get involved and yell at it. Has it changed once? No you can take those concepts and principles and put them into social systems that secure your vote, your voice, your dignity as a person, no matter who's on top, you're going to be treated fairly. That's the unifying theme, despite all the tribalism and the sectarianism and the fights that we've noticed keeps us together, is that we just want to be treated better. We just want institutions that don't lie to us. We just want predictability. We just want to live in a world that's peaceful instead of one that's filled with chaos. And what do you arm them with? You arm them with knowledge and tools and capabilities. You first have to convince them that they have a lot of power collectively and individually. You have to give them the ability to think about how they want to live their lives. They have to give them things that they can give to others are going to start covering bigger and bigger pieces of society. One of the reasons why Africa is so promising as a marketplace is because that entire continent is going through a massive upgrade right now. All the legal systems are being updated. All the infrastructure is being updated. The voting systems, all these things. The next five to 10 years, all of Africa is going to be completely online and completely digital, and they have no loyalty or preferences to anything in the legacy world. There are no grand Microsofts and Facebooks and Goldman Sachs and JP Morgans to contend with. And there's a tireless population who's very young. Many of the countries, over 70% of the people are under the age of 30, who grew up as digital natives and they see the world they could have, the places they could go, the things they could achieve and accomplish. And thus they vote for that. They protest for that. They fight for that. No one wants to live in a corrupt place. No one wants to live in a place of hopelessness and will never get there. So guess what? Give collectively billions of people those kinds of tools and they're going to have a revolution. That's exactly what is going to occur. And they're going to build something so much better than what we have here. They're going to build institutions far more durable 